All right, guys, we're back now. Now we're just going to be on part three, and part three is going to be where we mount the motor. So let's go ahead and get started here. First thing we're going to do is just take your first motor. And remember that on these frames, and you'll learn this in the module that uh, if you're watching any of the uh, education modules, uh, we're going to be putting these on in order as they're numbered. So remember, bottom right is motor one, top right is motor two, bottom left is motor three, top left is motor four. So remember, one, two, three, four. And in this case, these are going to turn clockwise, and these are going to turn counterclockwise. We'll get all of that in the programming portion of this build. So let's go ahead and start with motor one. We're going to take our, our, our motor, and we're going to take four of these screws that came with our motors right here, and we're going to get ready to mount this up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the motor, and we're going to make sure that we line it in such a way to where these three wires are going down this arm right here. You don't want them going this way or this way. They need to run down this arm right here. Let's go ahead and place them just like that. Turn the frame over just like this and take the screw and just line it up with one of the first uh, mounting holes right there just like that. And you can just finger tighten that just like that for right now just to get it started, okay? And as you can see on the bottom is if you have this mounted properly, you will see the center of the motor pin right there, all right? Going right through the center of that hole right there, okay? So let's take the second screw and just we're going to go caddy corner now. So you want to go from this one to this one. All right. Now you can take your screwdriver and just kind of finger tighten that there, just like that. Don't make it too, uh, don't tighten it too much because you have to make sure these next two screws can fit. So you may have to move the motor just a little bit. And if you tighten it too much, uh, that could make it uh, pretty difficult to do. So once we do that, we're going to go to the third screw. And then again, we'll just do the fourth one. All right. So there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to wire this one first, and then we're going to go ahead and do the rest of the motor. So once this is on here properly, now if you look at the motor itself, if you look at the motor wires, you've got three wires, and you've got this outside, this middle, and then this outside, okay? For the sake of this build, we're going to call the outside, meaning to the back of the frame, this is the outside, this is the middle wire, and this will be considered the inside wire because it's inside this area. This is aiming towards the outside of the back, and the outside on this side is always going to be aiming towards the front. So the outside wire, or this wire, is going to go to the yellow. The middle wire will go to the middle, and the inside wire will go to the inside black wire. So it should all just line up perfectly. One, and then two, and then three, and they should all line up. So what we're going to do is go ahead and plug those in, just like this. We're going to do the inside, the middle, and the outside. Okay, just like that. They should not be crossing. If you were to straighten them out, you should see them going straight. And if you pull them this way, they should be going straight. So you should not have them overlapping at all. And at this point, what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the wires down, just like this, and just very neatly lay them down to make sure everything fits. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the two outside, or the outside and the inside, the yellow and the black, we're gonna put those on the arm itself, just like that. And I'll show you in just a second. And we're gonna put the red one like a pyramid. It's gonna sit on top of the two, all right? Now here's where your tape comes in. So you're gonna take your tape, and remember I said you're gonna cut it into four. So fold it in half, and then fold it in half again, and you'll end up with four pieces. So we're gonna take our scissors, and we're gonna cut our tape, just like this. And we are going to go ahead and get ready to put these on here and tape these together. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can start the tape on the bottom just like this. Go right in the middle here. And then when you turn this over, just make sure that you have this pyramid of wires lined up. Okay. And we're going to make sure that these are lined up properly. So remember, it's going to be yellow and the black on the bottom. And then we're going to put the red like a pyramid right in the center of both of those on the top just like that. Make them stack a little bit, and then you can just take your tape and pass it right over, just like this, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap them to make sure they hold. And there you go. So as you can see now, you have your uh, yellow and black on the bottom and you have your red in the center. And we're gonna repeat this process for the next four motors. So we can get started, we'll go to the next motor. We're gonna to go to motor two, which is over here.
right, there you go. And again, we're gonna plug these in the same way. Outside, middle, and inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the yellow again, the outside here. Plug that in, just like that. We're gonna take the black one here. And we're gonna plug that one in as well, just like that. Okay, now, if you have a hard time taping these, here's another little trick you can try. So if you take your tape, Let's cut another piece off here real quickly, and I'll show you exactly. It's a little trick that might make it easier for you. You can tape the bottom two wires first. So what we'll do is, to hold it in place, we'll just come down here, just like that, and tape it on the top of the arm there, right, and fold it around. And then we'll lay the black and the yellow wires down together, side by side. And we'll bring the tape around, just to make sure that, try to line them up evenly, just to make sure those stay in place and don't spread. And then we'll take the red one, and do just like that. Now what we can do is we can lay the red one on top of the tape, you see? And by doing that, nothing's moving now. And we'll just tape the red one down just like that. And it might be easier for you to do it this way, just to keep it a little more uniform, make it a little bit easier and hold that pyramid shape. Because what you don't want is you don't want the red to go pressed down if you can avoid it, but it doesn't matter. You can either leave them flat like this if you'd like as well, whichever one you prefer. I do them both ways to show you which one you may like better. All right, we've done motor two now, so now let's go ahead and get started with motor three, which is right here. Again, remember, don't tighten these too tight because you're going to probably have to move the motors around a little bit to get them to line up. Okay, there we go. Get rid of this use tape. And we'll bring another piece of tape in here in just a second. So let's cut that tape and get ready to tape down the next set of motor wires. Okay. So on motor three here, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna to go to the outside with the yellow. And we're gonna to go to the inside with the black and leave the middle by itself right now. Okay. And I'm gonna take my piece of tape here. There we go. And I'll run these two together. So we'll do just like we did before. Start in the middle, right here. Bring it around. And then place the yellow and the black on the arm. Bring the tape over. Bring it around again. And then we will place the center wire, which is the red wire. Lay it on top, just like that. And there we go. And now we've only got one motor left and that's gonna be motor four. So let's go ahead and you can just arrange these wires as neatly as you want. Try to keep them all kind of the same. So I will just angle them whichever direction. But just make sure they're gonna tuck away here in just a little bit. So you'll be good at that. All right, the last thing is gonna be motor four. So let me go ahead and remove my watch here so it doesn't get in the way. Okay, so motor four is gonna go right here and we're gonna take the screws again. And then we've only got two more screws left. There we go. All right, now we've got our last motor set of motor wires to put down here. So again, we're gonna do the same thing, keep the middle wire out and go with the outside and the inside wires. So this will be the inside, this will be the outside yellow and this will be the inside black. Just like this, and then we'll take our tape, just like this here. All right, 
as soon as I get that peeled off, there we go. Okay, and we will start by putting it here, just like we had before. And we will bring it around, just like this. Place these two down on the arm. Try to line them up as best as you can. Bring the tape over to hold them in place. And then bring it back around again. And we will place this one right on top, the middle wire, there it is. And we will tape that down. And at that point, we are officially done wiring our motors. And there you go. What you should have is something that looks pretty much like this. And if we have this again, aim the proper direction, we should have everything showing where we have yellow on the outside back, yellow on the outside front, black on the inside on both, and then red should be on the top. And if it's flattened out like my motor one did, that's okay. You can actually press this down and flatten them. It's just a preference issue of what you like, but this fits perfectly just like this. And the next thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna come in and we're gonna get ready to start plugging in our components and installing our VTX, which is gonna be this part right here. So I'll see you guys back in just a second.